So tell me, is this the hardest movie you've ever done, the one that you've prepared for the most? Yes, yes, without a doubt. It's the hardest movie that, it's the most challenging role that I've ever had to do, not only in its prep. I prep for about six months, training, um, uh, dialect coach, um, horseback riding, chariot riding, sword fighting. Um, but also too, it was, the, it was a challenge of creating something that was hopefully going to be um, epic and, and definitive, and especially for a generation because we've, we've grown up on Hercules and the mythology of Hercules, so the idea was to, to make something that would lead our generation into the next generation and make it very defining and epic. What was the hardest part that you had to prepare for? The hardest part I had to prepare for was, um, well, I think, you know, because the majority of my body was showing in this movie, so from day one, I had to maintain that look all the way to day 95. And so that was very challenging. Like every day, it had to be very precise. My food had to be precise. The training had to be precise. Um, everything had to look exactly the same. I read somewhere that you had to have surgery before filming. Yeah. And then you did this scene, the scene with the chains, where you have to break the chains. Mm -hmm. And I also read that you said that you did it so intensely that you passed out. Didn't you? Was that a problem with your doctors? Did someone tell you not to? Well, it would have been a problem with the doctors if they were there. It was a good thing they weren't there. They were back in the States and we were all the way in Budapest. The, um, I did, I had an uh, emergency triple hernia surgery that I had to get done and we had to place three uh, metal mesh wirings in my abdomen wall all in here because yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> by the time we got on set and I started shooting, and then we shot that one scene that's a very epic scene um, and it wound up being probably the best scene in the movie and I passed out two or three, well, a little bit more. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those things where once you start getting into the rhythm of things and you black out, uh, as long as, and I just figured, well, I'm not going to die. <laughs> and I lived through the first one, so I figured I'm going to live through the second one. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, tell me about the beard. I heard it was pretty uncomfortable, was it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not very comfortable. <clears throat> I think because, you know, it, it's, uh, it's not a lace beard and it's put on piece by piece and the pieces were very long. So there's glue and it, it's here and it's just, it gets uncomfortable because you're outside and it's hot and there's dust and there's dirt and every take. So for 12 hours, you, people are constantly touching your face. So it's like if somebody were constantly touching your face doing this, all day long, it would drive you crazy. Was it difficult fighting with the costume? Was it like stuffy? It's difficult for any other man, <laughs> but not me. No. Uh, it was very natural on you. Thank you very much. I, I, I fooled him very well. I think that uh, it's the you know the costume is is about as comfortable as it looked, and so we kind of got through it. I had a um, uh, there was a lot of air. You're going <laughs> everywhere, so it kept me cool. In your movie, there's someone that can tell, uh, that knows how they're gonna die. If you had the choice, would you like to know when and how you're gonna die? No, I wouldn't. I don't think I would, or at least not right now when I sit with you and you ask that. No, I... I <clears throat> no, I think there's something cool and valuable about kind of living every day. Uh, to the fullest we possibly can with, without knowing, um, I think so.